tell us about getting Eli's mom, that role. Well, that was, um, that was, you know, the old days when we went into the little trailer to, uh, to audition in person. Um, right. The before times. The before times. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just went up there. I, I think it was, um, Carol Kelsey, I believe cast the yeah. first two. And then this, this, um, I, I, I believe it was Clark and Page there. Fabulous. Um, yeah, it was, I just went in and, uh, read um a tiny scene i i i um i i think it might have been like the, the the little scene um it's it's a dream sequence that eli has where i'm waking him up in the morning and telling him to get on with it and um I think it was just that little scene right there. Yeah, he was remembering uh once he's once he's aboard the ship. Yeah. Uh he's remembering uh living at home under his mom's roof and yeah. kind of not being motivated to become it, it, it reach his full potential. And right. he's got right. his mother who has uh been uh, uh infected with HIV. And, you know, she's basically, you know, still being mom to this grown adult who just refuses to get on with his life. You know, yeah. a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah. So that was. Um, oh, yeah, that was just a perfect situation. I love that little scene, too. But I I, I think that was um, I I. I think that was the one that I got the part for. And I think I went back for a callback as well. And then. I do believe that th that was Andy Makita that, that that's correct. That, right. Yeah. And um, I think that was the first scene I did okay. in the series. Yeah. And then, then I went back and did the scene in the kitchen. Over the or, phone. Or, I, I did on the phone yeah. and then, yeah. And, and then I went back and did the, the scene in the kitchen and um I I yeah I just remember sitting sort of outside of the house and um uh Robert Carlyle came up to me and welcomed me and 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 I thought oh this is nice so <laughs> again they just make you feel at home so absolutely yeah. you uh yeah. worked mostly opposite David Blue who played who played your son, yeah. Eli. Yeah. Uh, any memories of working with David? Oh, God, yeah. Like, um, oh, he was just great. He was he was just he was just Eli. He was just David. You know, he really was, um, you know, sort of fumbling about and, you know, then just nailing it or or, or not. And try. He was just great. He was very friendly and lovely and um yeah, I really liked him. He says hello, by the way. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah. wow. I, I, I emailed him, let him know that you were coming. I said, oh, please tell us hello for me. So he's a yeah. good guy. Uh, and you're right. He th the, the cast like never let him forget that yeah, you are basically that character. <laughs> that really is him. The gamer yeah. type, the sci-fi type. So it wasn't it, a lot he, to take it, him to get into it. Right, right. I, I, I never quite knew if he was the math boy that... Um, he uh that he was playing i you know i don't know but in terms of the math i'm not entirely sure but the the sci-fi and and the gamer um he streams yeah. on twitch to this day playing video games so it was very appropriate oh. that they found that they found a guy that could really you know exemplify yeah. that what was yeah, it yeah. like playing this uh uh person who is talking to the air force talking to a person who is, I mean, he's sitting in front of you, but the person that you're talking to is in the show, someone else. We're kind of like seeing yeah. like who's under the surface, whose soul we're watching almost. Yeah, yeah. Did you have to be uh, conscious of that fact going along that, yeah, I, I'm talking yeah. to him, but I'm really talking to someone else who's 
who mm-hmm. who is pr- he's pretending to be someone else. There's a lot of levels at play here in these in these kitchen scenes. I know, I know. I was thinking about that one in watching it. I I, I was wondering, um, you know, with the with the, in the hospital scene um, later oh. in the it was in. Which one was that gauntlet? No, not gauntlet. The one before. The uh, uh, let me double check here. So that was that would have been like one of the. That's the episode where you board the ship, and I believe yeah, that, that, that is pathogen. That Robert, pathogen. Yeah, that was the one yes. Robert directed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, playing with the. I I thought it worked really well in the kitchen. Um, you know when. They, they they first meet, but <laughs> I just kind of wanted her to um, to give over a little bit in the hospital. She was just like, "There's no way was she letting this guy no. get to her." Yeah, yeah. No. She couldn't believe um, that it was her son talking yeah. to her, and no matter I, what this guy said, he was like, "No, th- this is ridiculous." I know this it's not, not going to happen. And I know and they set it up really well, and, and I love this. With the beef prior to the the first scene, um, when he said when Blue or when Eli says um, they he goes home for the first time and he says she's never gonna get this she can't follow an episode of Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's I know. Right. I know. And I thought, <laughs> okay, good. I'm I'm at home here because you. Know, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I like that. That was really funny. The, yeah. the, the this well, the situation that she's thrown in is, I mean, just wild. I mean, the 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 opening scene with her, I think, is very telling. She's like, "Are you an airplane? You sound like you're in an airplane." So yeah. she can't, uh, uh, like, like, like Eli says, you know, she can't, she can't follow an episode of Star Trek. Her mind is just not going these places, yeah. and we can only put ourselves in her shoes. To be like, wow, what a wild situation to have your child across the other end of the cosmos not be able to talk to you using his own face. How do you communicate with someone like that? And then when you're in the hospital bed at at death's door and you've got a stranger saying that he's your son, you just can't process it. I know. I know. It was a lot to process. But yeah, she, I always felt with that phone call too, she I, I think she was in a place with her son where she just wanted him to do something. Right. Get on with it. Oh boy, um, will he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side. <laughs>